I'm on the sky bridge that connects the hospital with the parking ramp and the Dean and St. Mary's Outpatient Center. Both the Digestive Health Center and the Surgery and Care Center opened in December. Patients come to these facilities for day procedures like colonoscopies, orthopedic procedures, and biopsies. Together, these two centers serve over 18,000 patients a year. Gwen Wahlberg gives us a tour of their new space. Welcome to the Digestive Health Center. The design is made to match as close to the hospital's design as possible. Very earth tones, comfortable. We have just recently started the first phase of our electronic medical record. This is called a grease board. In the lobby area, it will indicate a case number which each family member will be given at the time of check-in. The color will change and they'll be able to track their family members or friends travel throughout the Digestive Health Center. But it just makes them feel more comfortable in that they can track it themselves. This is where patients are brought back from the lobby area. And this is a typical patient room where they come in to be admitted, go to the procedure, and then come back to the same room. So the same staff takes care of them both before the procedure and after the procedure. Currently we have 24 rooms. There's glass doors, obviously, you can see through. There's a curtain that will go across to give them privacy. But if there's any reason they need to get in or out and need more space, the doors break away on all of these. As you can see, the Digestive Health Center is built kind of on a triangle in the pre-post area. There's a central nurse's station, which has three desk areas with patient rooms that run up three sides. So the nurses can spread out from any area in the central nurse's station and see the patients in their rooms. Our sister unit is a surgery and care center at one floor above us. We're both part of the same ambulatory surgery center. So the plan when you go down in our floor or upstairs to the surgery center is the same format or layout. This is one of the two hallways which lead back to the procedure rooms from the patient pre-post area. This is an example of what one of the endoscopy procedure rooms looks like. Booms are new. Not many facilities have all their equipment up on booms. And the advantage to that is that everything is off the floor. It's very clean. There's no wires, cords, anything on the floor. For cleaning, you can get around very well. Some of what we've gained in moving to this new location is obviously space. It's very beautifully decorated. It has a great sense of privacy and efficiency in the function of how patients move in and out through the facility. 